Hi everyone, I'm Emerald Queen with Emerald Queen TV. And today I want to show you how to use Team Holt's Matchbox die, which is a very cool die by the way. You'll see that I'm going to show you how to assemble the little box and then uh, we're going to do another thing that it will be not only a matchbox but you can also use this in many ways and the other way I want to show you how to use it is by doing a little mini tiny shadow box well let's call it Team Halt shadow box so basically I'm showing this is a 66 big L die so for this project at the moment I will use a craft cardstock paper I think it's better because it's a little sturdy the black pack that you're looking at, it's a premium crease pack standard and that's basically to create those crease come out better when you cut out the die. As you can see, I had a little trouble when it was cut, but I took the scissor and just cut out a little part that didn't really, the rule that I didn't go through. So just to let you know, pass it like one or twice just to make all those cuts come out. So you got two folds and uh, we're going to start folding and assembling all this little box. I use silicone hot glue which is I think the best for this kind of projects because really if you're going to use another type of glue you're going to have a hard time a little bit and you're going to spend a lot of time trying to assemble the little box. So hot glue will be the best choice for this kind of project basically you you just fold all the creases and follow the instructions on the die i show you that it brings five steps on how to do this and it's really easy basically you just follow the steps and then you will see that you can create these little boxes So after folding all the lids of the inside box, I finally got back the glue gun and start pasting every little lid that needs to be all assembled all together in one place. Now you have to hold it down a little bit just to make sure that the glue will just dry quickly and then you have the perfect little box assembled. So there you go, you get all the little box assembled and now I insert the inner part and you get the little perfect match box. If you want to use it as a little container box, this is perfect for that, especially for those little things that you have all over the place, it's all perfect and then you can just put the little boxes in a bigger box and you get everything organized. So I went ahead and cut some vintage retro paper from Team Holtz. And now what I'm gonna do is try to assemble this little box again, but with his paper. If you notice, the die didn't go through the end of the cut. So I went back to my Sissix Big Shot and pass it all over again. So basically what I'm gonna do again is just fold all the little lids and assemble the box again.
now you get pretty much an idea on how to assemble the whole little box. Now when I was folding this part of the box, I thought it would be creative if I fold little inner parts in the inside and create like a little kind of mini book. You can use this on your journals if you want to. Anyway, I went back to my little box and this time I just want to make something really vintage oriented, steampunk, team hold style. So I got some of that new ephemeral pack of team holds. And this came very convenient because as you can see now, I'm going to decorate the whole little box with some of these cuts. Now, I figured that if I use a small mini rosette from Team Holtz, I would paste the picture on top of it and then I will put it inside the little box and I will use some 3D stickies or pop stickies and raise the rosette in order to have my picture all the way to the front from the mini box. I'm going to use some paper straws just to enhance a little bit the box. It's too dark in there. I will mark down the straw with a pencil and then cut it with my team hole scissor. It is nothing difficult to do because this is just paper, so it won't damage the straw at all. So then again, I will bring back the hot glue and just stick all the straws with it in the inner side of the box. So after putting it all together, I figured that there was something missing. So all I did is was bring some jump rings and put them in the eyes of the picture. Just glue them with paper glaze and create that effect that he was using glasses. So now he looks more steampunk. The next step is to cut a rectangle in the outside part of the box to create a frame. So all you need is a cutting mat, a ruler, an exacto knife, and a pencil. Make sure you have the measurements desired so you can create this little window that will show your decoration of the inside of the box. So after I assembled all together, I decided I wanted some cover to that window that I already created. And to do that, I used some shrinked ink, cut it out the size of the box, of the outside of the box, and then all I did was disassemble again the little box and put the window where it belongs, just gluing it down with some hot glue, and that will preserve your little tiny shadow box from having anything coming in the inside. So basically you're going to have a little tiny treasure that is yours to keep forever. I really enjoyed this project and definitely the die is a must. If you like Tim Holtz and you like his style, this is a fun way to be more creative and have fun things around you. I really love it. It's really fun. And you all know I love Tim Holtz. So 
so there it is all the little box all assembled and ready to be part of my collection thank you so much for watching and if you like my video please rate comment and subscribe and come back soon goodbye